Look at this image. Do you agree with this image? If you don't, then stop watching. This video ain't for you. I'm someone who likes to watch a small YouTube channel. You can go to my YouTube channel right now and see what the hell I'm watching. I tend to prefer smaller channel. I wouldn't say they're exactly small, but I tend to watch a smaller channel with more specific topics over big channel who, in a way, conform to more popular opinion or less opinionated. I made this video because it feels like the topic that I'm doing, which is, you know, mobile games, not exactly a creative frontier, not exactly saving people's lives or whatever. But if you notice all of these subs, there are no directly blue archive or organized channel because i'm just watching whatever hell i want and i'm just posting whatever the hell i want as well all these videos are not for everybody and they will not have lots of views and does it suck yeah probably people will probably say oh this is you have low sub you have 1.7k you are trash dude you think you can talk 1.7k channel you are worthless man to that i say i just make whatever the hell i want man and my channel, the most popular are the casual guide, like the casual guide for Blue Archive because I don't go to YouTube to see how to play a game. I just go in and try it because it's a fucking mobile game, man. It's not exactly rocket science or whatever. You don't need to like get a good graphics card to play these games or you have to buy it on Steam or Epic Store or whatever. You can just go ahead and install it. There's nothing stopping you. I don't need someone to tell me if it's good or not. I'm going to try it myself. Matter of fact, one of my most favorite game of all time is Killer7 and that game is not good according to many reviewers, but I loved it. And I also love Car Mechanic Simulator. So by nature, I do not care what people think. That brings to today's point. I was talking to my friend in the discord he mentioned that a lot of channels especially blue archive will tell you oh you need to roll for this unit some of the people actually prefer playing raid unit and playing by the meta for high scores and i respect that but me personally and for many people video games are meant to be fun man and you going out of your way spending money learning all the new strats just to do good in one raid boss and then the next time the boss comes on in a different field environment you don't get the indoor advantage where you have to roll another character i think the whole process is silly i don't think that's how you should enjoy the game blue archive isn't like a racing game for example where you need to follow like going to the right side going to the left side apex and leaving a right there's no left foot breaking there's not exactly a strict formula that you need to follow in order to win there's no like heel towing in mobile games you play initially third there's an eraser technique there's a machine gun technique those things are required to you to do but you can pick whatever cars you want i'm getting off topic but i don't think people should really quote unquote care so much about these meta videos because blue archive isn't exactly a hard game to play if you just want to three star a mission even challenge you just need to level your account up that's all you need really rolling for meta will make it easier but you still have to learn the character for example they recently added the shirokuro raid and my most high output damage unit was koyuki because on her second skill she shoots a red mag and it deletes like four bars and you might say these scores suck because i'm playing on extreme and, and that's fair that's your opinion but this channel is about being casual having fun with the game so the fact that i level up koyuki and max out her skill for fun because i like her as a character she can do well in raids, not as good as other people with like the Maid Ares or New Year Kayoko, and that's fine. It's like you turn your fun thing into a project. For what? To compete with other shitheads in the global leaderboard? You know, I said it, but I'm gonna say it again. Anything from now on I say is all my opinion. I understand there are people who likes playing raid, who likes to do like sweat shit. And that's fine but in this channel i'm just talking in general like if you're someone who's on the fence where you should be rolling for meta character or what i'm telling you now this is your your message doesn't matter as long as you have fun even if you roll for a meta character you still need to learn how they work how would they integrate with your team some meta unit needs specific support units to work best or else they fall flat on their face because they're super glass cannony and so on just play what you want man in my personal experience when I got back into Genshin, a great mistake, I look at the characters and they'll be like, oh, you have to use this and that, but I don't like them. Like I have lots of good units like Sucrose or Shangling or whatever, but I don't like using them. I just use whatever the hell I want. But then my damage fall flat. 
when my world level whatever the fuck is called i was using ningguang at the time i thought she was the shit she's fun to use but when i swap to other character with like you learn the meta and stuff yeah the game becomes easier you do more damage big numbers big enjoyment but i don't like using those characters i don't want to see bennett on my screen i don't want to see jing chiu on my screen man i just want to see like motherfucking fischl and Klee on the screen all the time that's how i play and that's how i'm gonna stick to it i understand that lots of youtube channel are incentivized to make a meta video because first of all people would like to know from you know so-called expert on what they should be rolling but to be honest i never look at these youtube videos because i can ask people in my discord server they know so much more they know much more about blue archive than i'll ever do and you should be doing that not listen to youtubers the point of mobile game is to interact with other players online whether that be you loving raids or pvp as well youtuber first of all are entertainer i'm never gonna claim i know more than you do because i get corrected in the comment section all the time when i get something wrong first of all it needs to be entertaining and most of all it needs to be educational it's hard to be both have you ever seen a fun math class you maybe do but it's a very specific class i'm just saying that these type of channels they have incentives you know to get clicks and get views clicks and view gets them more fame if they're pursuing fame they're, they're gonna get in a gacha community if they pursue money then yeah they'll make a long ass video with like ads included for me the only thing i do this is because pure passion i have another job so i can say whatever the hell i want that's why i think casual for me is the way to go you are meant to enjoy the game you know don't forget that this is not a job if you are focused on building your gacha account over getting a well-paying job you gotta set your priorities straight man gacha needs to be fun i understand competitive game i used to play competitive uh csgo i did try to play like tf2 6v6 stuff like that but at the end of the day it's more fun to have a laugh with friends doing stupid shit having a giggle i don't find pleasure beating other people because i know the meta better than them i love playing pyro if you don't tf2 pyro is an annoying class you can counter it by walking away but most people don't and they rather learn how to counter scout to soldier and that's fine but i like playing pyro because i'm a shithead and he's fun to play even if i get countered hard i still have fun because i get to burn people funny haha <laughs> same for blue archive really all the units can work like you know how in events there will be like a challenge mission one of those six missions most guides when they have a boss or you need to like stun them or taunt them people say subaki i instead use hoshino and that works too so i think what is needed from you is to be creative and look into your units that you have and try to play around with them because blue archive is not exactly a difficult difficult game and rolling for meta units just means that there are more resources you need to spend hell even you might need to spend money to get a copy of them if you are a goon who rules every meta banner first of all it costs you time to level them up second of all it costs you money to roll for said character and third you might getting burned out and getting emotionally sick of it and quit the game and that's not what we want here i think blue archive is a genuinely fun game because of its nice story and you can pretty much clear the story content with most unit assuming your account level is high enough so i don't want you guys to like see those youtube videos and think oh shit i gotta roll for this one or else i can't have fun no it's not you can use whatever you want my personal favorite character is suzumi on paper she kind of sucks but when you level her up she can stun and kill people koharu is designed to be a heal character but she can kill people too so experiment around using your brain over your money can be fun speaking of brain and money a lot of people say arc knight suck because it's too hard motherfucker i'm stupid as shit and i think arc knight is really fun because we just need to learn the enemy's pattern and encounter it it's sad to see that arc knight is not that popular because people say it's low tier or people say it's too hard that really sucks man because i think arc knight is very fun but it requires a level of knowledge for it to become fun and the, the promoters of the game are not doing it well on the tutorials are a bit fuck you you suck in a kind of way but i think the game is fun once you get the fundamentals down although my channel is casual i enjoy arc knights very much and i play it on my off time so yeah it's more like a rant video but i just want to say that you guys can have fun where the hell you want don't listen to other people man too much people 
base their opinion on one person's thoughts. Don't let other people form your opinion. You form your own opinion, man. I hate to use this example, maybe like Andrew Tate, he says stuff and people be like, yeah, this guy spin facts, I, I relate with him. That is just his opinion. You're just copying opinion into your own. So it's not innately your own opinion, unless certain action he does and you think that's cool. Then yeah, that's your opinion. Be yourself. It's probably weird as hell coming from my, my fucking channel, but at the end of the day, it's a mobile game, man. You're competing with other mobile game players. In the end, it means nothing. It's not like you're competing for the Olympics. It's not like you're competing at work for that yearly bonus. It's a game. And unless you want to go try hard, you be my guess. If you feel good getting first rank, yeah, go ahead. But for most of you, I don't think so. You have other priorities in life rather than just getting good in mobile game that, you know, maybe only a few of your friends know about. Go out there, play the game, make like-minded friends. That's what I would say. Mobile games are innately a social game where it's more fun when you talk to other people but not so much about listening to what youtubers have to say about this unit or this new game mode because they're not your friend i'm not your friend i'm just a guy talking on online because i like to share my opinion don't be worried that you're missing out on stuff that's what mobile games are defined on let's be honest fear of missing out is a core component of these types of game when you miss a limited banner it's over for you you can't get your favorite character Instead, I suggest you look into the characters, look into the lore, look into the voice artists, look into the art, see if you like that character and go for it. It makes life more fun. When you have everything, you have nothing. When you have little things, you appreciate more stuff. Ran over. Hope you liked it. Thank you.